Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. This okay? This is fine. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to, I've got this small speech that I'm going to say, I'm going to turn it over to you, and I'm okay. going to say, I'll let you in. Okay. Thank you for having me. All right. Okay. Okay. Just joking. For instance, we can start a sale line in our lab teach them to keep that cell line going, and we could actually do research on those breast cancer cells. Now, how cool would it be for your student to come home one day and said, Mom, I had put this extract on my breast cancer cells uh, last week, and guess what I found out today? The cells are actually shrinking. We have to video live stream everything, so make sure your microphone is on, make sure it's blue, <laughs> green, or Red light, whatever it comes on before you speak. Say your name and, uh, and where you're from so everybody at home will know where you live again. Okay. Um, hello, um, I'm, I'm Hannah Lawson and um, I go to Lebanon High School. Um, I'd like to thank you all for um, taking the time to listen to us today. And um, so um, in the biotech lab, we gain a lot of valuable experience, not only in the agricultural sex and um, medical technology, but also in forensics. Um, I'm in the uh, forensics CTE at Lebanon High School, and um, we talk a lot about um, collecting samples of DNA from crime scenes, and um, what we do, um, right now we're working on blood splatter, and um, so we learn how to con collect the DNA and not contaminate it, but we don't get to do anything with it. But in the biotech program, we um, are able to run DNA samples, and um, just a few weeks ago, we did um, a DNA fingerprinting um, lab, which is where we um, used restriction fragment length polymers, or um, RL, um, RFLPs, which is where we look at a certain part of the DNA, and we compare it to other pieces of DNA um, so what we would do is we collected DNA samples, um, Ms. Bunch orders them, and um, we use some of the lab equipment, and um, we extract the DNA, and then we add a dye to it, and then we put it in um, a gel, which is, um, we use different kind of buffers, and we make, we make the gels ourselves, then we, inject the DNA into the gel and we put it in a electrophoresis box and it